Hey everyone, welcome back to the fourth video and today we're talking eye cream. And a lot of people ask me, do I need a separate eye cream? And my question for that is usually, what type of moisturizer are you using? There are several moisturizers in my store that can actually be used around the eye area. They're actually designated for that. It's a face and eye combo, which is really nice because you get to cut back on extra products. However, I also have a lot of people complaining to me about the fact that suddenly their eye area is way more sensitive than it used to be. They're not able to use the makeup that they were using in the past, even though they've been using it for many, many years. And, um, you know, just that the eye area is becoming a little bit more selective. And, you know, I really like recommending an eye cream if you have always used one. Um, we are used to, you know, using certain products and they might feel weird not having an eye cream. So that, you know, kind of keeping to that routine and, um, you know, keeping up what you've been doing all these years is important. However, the other important factor when, when I say to people, you know, perhaps you should try an eye cream is that your moisturizer uh, might have ingredients in it that are not for the eye area. Sometimes it can be certain essential oils, or it, if you're using a conventional brand, it can be a synthetic fragrance, or it can be some other ingredient that your delicate and sensitive eye area is finding irritating. So it's always really nice when your skin is reacting in that way to listen and just give it a product that is specifically made for the eye area. So my fourth product is going to be uh, Consonance Firming Eye Cream. This eye cream is fantastic because it contains the uh, extract from the Senna plant which is also plumping and really, really hydrating. But I also really love how it contains zinc oxide. And especially for the tired um, eyes, um, the zinc oxide can be very calming and soothing, but it's also brightening, which is fantastic. And a little bit of this goes a long way. It is uh, completely unscented, which is really important for the eye area. And of course, made with natural ingredients. And uh, if you've heard of Consonant before, you know that it's a brand here in Toronto. So the way I apply my eye cream, so I, I do my moisturizer everywhere else. So it's evening and I've, you know, cleansed my skin. And then I stay away from the eye area, okay? With the moisturizer and all the other serums, especially if my eyes have been bugging me and they, they're telling me, hello, it's just, we're not happy right now. So then that's where the eye cream comes in. So I usually take a small, a really small pump. So let's see here. Um, maybe about this much. Sorry, it didn't pump out. <laughs> right. And then what I do is I split it between my two ring fingers. Okay. And I always use my ring fingers, including when I wear a uh, concealer and I apply the concealer. And then I'm just going to lightly tap it here. And I'm also going to do the top. Okay. Don't forget the top of your eyes. If you have a nice large open area here, or it doesn't matter how big it is, you need to know that eventually gravity is going to take over and this area here is going to drop. So you definitely want to, um, moisturize that. And then what I do is I do kind of like little circles. So I go clockwise and then I switch and I do counterclockwise and I do a little bit of pressure. And little half circles, just do it very delicately. And that's why we're using these fingers here. All right, and just make sure that the product is absorbed because sometimes I think it can also be the fact that we're using maybe too much or we're kind of like leaving it there and it's not well absorbed and then it's like slipping and sliding and it's going to end up getting into your eyes. That's the other thing. 
And uh, if you find that you have a tendency for the products around your eye area to move, just put it a little bit farther away, okay? Put it a little bit farther down because eventually anything you apply on your eye area somehow just finds its way into your eyes anyways. So um, it's important to have something that's really, really, um, you know, gentle for that area, that it's going to be soothing, See, my eyes feel brighter already. It's going to be soothing and that it's not going to be scented that, you know, like that can actually irritate your eyes. So that's really, really important. So a little bit of this goes a long, a long way. It's 15 mils, which is what most um, eye creams are. And, you know, it's it feels rich when you put on your finger, but then it's like it just the skin absorbs it beautifully. It is not greasy. You can tell. Look at this close up. All right. It is not greasy and it just leaves the area kind of like firmer and just plump and hydrated. All right. So I would definitely say if you're shopping for a night cream to give this one a try, it's a good one um, for sure. And consonant does a lot of great things. And the fact, you know, that it has zinc oxide, I don't have another eye cream with that ingredient. And I find that that is really, really important. It really makes a difference. Lots of other great, really great ingredients, including certified organic oils and extracts um, listed here on the back of the box. So yeah, if you're looking for an eye cream, check this one out next time you're shopping for one. And don't forget to use the discount code BIRTHDAY20 to get 20% off Consonance Eye Cream until October 11th, all right? So this is one of my top 10 favorite birthday products. Hmm, I guess they don't have to be birthday products, just favorite products of all time, all right? Thank you so much for being here. I'll catch you here tomorrow for video number five.